A single scoop means one scoop. Here you go! A single scoop! <laughs> what happened? Tiger Shark! Let's get out of here. Oh, that was a close one. Let's find somewhere else to serve our ice cream. So they drove their ice cream sub to find some other dolphins. Buongiorno. What can I get for you today? One double fish ripple coming right up. Double means two. There's one scoop and two. A double. Here you go. But once again. <laughs> someplace else. So the sailors found customers somewhere else in the ocean. Okay, that's two singles. And for you, sir? A double. Certainly, sir. We need your help. Which one of these cones is a double? Remember, double means two. Right, this ice cream cone is a double. Here you go. And for you, sir? Tiger Shark! Shark! <laughs> What's wrong, sir? Yeah, why are you crying? I just wanted some ice cream, too, but you keep going away. We're sorry. We're happy to get you some ice cream. <laughs> and so, the submarine sailors gave the tiger shark some delicious ice cream. One single vanilla fish. Open wide, please. Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! I'm up here! Here I am, Bubble Kitty. I'll be right down. <gasps> oh no! We have to help her before she falls. Come on, everybody. Follow that cat. something to pull her up. Hey, guys? What about this? It's a big ball of yarn. Well, that's convenient. We can use this to pull her up. Here it comes. Grab on. Got it. Come on, everyone. Pull. <laughs> Kitty wants to thank your puppy. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing way up here? Oh, you want to see? 
I was working on this, presenting some of the greatest cats in the world. The leopard. Wow. The lion. Whoa. That's so cool. The tiger. Whoa. Whoa. And my favorite cat of all. It's Bubble Kitty. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Meowt Rushmore. <laughs> I'm so glad we got Bubble Kitty back where she belongs. If the running nose gets his germs in the old factory, all the workers could get sick. Ah! How do we stop a running nose? We'll stop him with my tissues. I need your help. Take a look. My tissues can fill each of these squares to stop the running nose. Oh no, we need more. How many more tissues do we need? Two! Right, two! Two more tissues, Soper Boy. Count with me. One, two. That'll stop him. Uh. <laughs> Hey, what'd you do that for? Because you were spreading germs. Uh, I was? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a runny nose. Have a tissue. You should always use tissues when you have to sneeze or wipe your nose. Now what do I do? Always be sure to throw your used tissue in the trash so others don't get germs from it. But what if I don't have a tissue? Then you should cover your mouth with your elbow. It's like a germ jail. Huh? Excuse me. Yay! We did it! We did right. it! And so. From that day on, the running nose always covered his mouth whenever he sneezed. Thanks for teaching me how to keep my germs to myself. Now I nose. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come with us to give Buddy his surprise? Great! Come on! Surprises! Shh! Don't let Buddy hear. in here. I can't see a thing. I found a light switch. Does it work? If we only had a flashlight. <gasps> we have something better. Buddy. Yeah. Buddy can use echolocation to find things in the dark. <laughs> Buddy will make sounds and listen for the echo. Then he'll be able to figure out what's over there. We need your help. Ready, buddy? That looks like a party hat. That looks like a present. And that looks like a cake. A party hat, a present, and a cake. Can you tell Buddy what his surprise is? Surprise! Surprise! For he's a jolly good dolphin. 
friendliest face in the sea. Yeah! <laughs> so that was the surprise. Look, Bunny, we made a card for you. <laughs> He took our instruments into his cave. Now what are we going to do? <whistles> Let's go get our instruments before he comes back. Look at all those instruments. Gobi, there's your French horn. And there's my flute. He's coming back. I need your help to find my instrument. I play a woodwind instrument. That means it's a long tube with lots of holes along the side. Which one of those is a woodwind instrument? That one! Yeah, that's my clarinet. It's a woodwind instrument. Come on, let's get out of here! you have different feelings. Right? Let's play our song in a way that will make the bear feel sad. One, two, three, four. This music is so sad. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Don't cry, Mr. Bear. We won't play any more sad music if you promise not to take our instruments again. I promise. I just wanted to make music, but I don't know how. We can teach you how to play your own instrument. <laughs> you can? Sure. And so. The musicians taught the bear how to play an instrument, and they all performed together. Oh, right. <laughs> Look, there's Beep. I think he's gonna fly. <gasps> oh, it looks like that poor little duckling hasn't learned how to fly yet. Don't worry, little Beep. Your mommy will be right back. Look at them fly! Uh-oh, I think it's going to rain. Oh boy, I think it's time for the bubble duckies to come in for a landing. Oh no, they're flying right into a storm cloud. They're going to get lost. Molly, we have to help them. Come on, Beep. We have to rescue your family. Molly to Tower, we're ready for takeoff. This is Tower. You are cleared for takeoff. Be careful, guys. Roger, Tower. Where did they go? I don't see them. Fly higher. Ah! It looks like there's a formation of bubble duckies in the largest of the three storm clouds. I repeat, the largest storm cloud! We need your help to find Beep's family. Which cloud is the largest one? This one! Right, that one. Ah, she's right! We can't fly to that cloud, it's too strong! 
story in there. We have to do something. Don't worry, Beep. We'll find your family. Beep? Where'd he go? Molly, look! Beep! I think he's going to try to fly. Sam? No, 
Just the mail carrier. Look at the cool mail truck. I think she's stopping here. Hi, Mr. Grouper. Hi, come on in. I have some mail here for Clam and the Bubble Guppies. Mail? For us? We got wow. mail? Oh, wow. I never got mail before. It's a package. Look, there's our name and address. That's a lot of stamps. That means it's really heavy. Wow, I wonder what's inside. The suspense is maddening. Go ahead, open it. Ooh, it's pretty. What is it? It's for the party. Sam! Hey, everyone. He got our invitation. Thanks for inviting me to the party. Good to see you, Sam. Happy Clam Day. Happy Clam Day to you, too. Happy Clam Day! Now? Now! a strange and beautiful place. How are we ever going to get home to the land down under? Nom, nom, nom. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I sure love eating eucalyptus leaves. Look, koalas. Koalas? Where? I think she means us. Well, would you look at that? We are koalas. <laughs> Hello, koalas. My puppy and I are lost. Do you know how we can get home? You need to ask the Wizard of Oz. Australia. But where do I find the Wizard of Australia? You should try the grassland. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck, mate. Hello. We're looking for the Wizard of Oz. Australia! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, maybe the wizard is in the billabong. Thank you. Let's go. Hi, I am a platypus. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. We're looking for the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the Wizard of Australia. Of course, the wizard lives in the Emerald Sydney. The Emerald Sydney? Behold! The Emerald Sydney! Good day! Good day! We've come to the Emerald Sydney to see the wizard. No worries, miss. Right this way. Small girl, and your little dog too. Good day, puppy. I am the Wizard of Oz. Oh, Australia. <laughs> That's right. Now, what can I do for you? Well, your wizardness, my puppy and I are lost, and we need help getting home. And where is your home? The land down under. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't know where that is. I'm so sorry, Dorothy. But did you say the land down under? Uh-huh. Darling, Australia is the land down under, and you are already here. I am? He's right. The land down under is another name for Australia. You're home. Did you hear that, Bubble Puppy? We're home. <laughs> Hi, do 
Do you know where Sandy is? Sandy? Sandy? Well, she sure isn't here. She's got too much work to do. She's got to make coconuts for everyone at the ball. All by herself? Totally. <laughs> Poor Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Oh, hey, Ma. Why aren't you at the ball? I still have too much work to do. I can't go to the ball until all these are done. Well, what if you had some help? Oh, that's sweet, Molly. But you should go back to the ball and have a good time. It would take more than just the two of us to get through all these coconuts anyway. What about three of us? Or four? Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> You're all gonna help me? Totally. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. You're welcome. Come on, everybody. Let's go dance. Guests of the beach ball. Not that kind of beach ball. <laughs> Thank you. The moment has come to crown our queen of the beach. Yes. And this is a very special night because tonight we have not one but two queens. That's right. I've never seen anyone dancing and having as much fun as these two ladies. Please join me in congratulating our queens of the beach, Sandy and Molly. She is a really good dancer. Totally. Thanks for your help at the coconut stand, everyone. Especially you, Molly.